What's up everybody, Captain Bob here. We're out in the garage today talking about bar ends. So I had a request from a viewer about how to put bar ends on the handlebars of the Trek FX3. And it just so happens that I have replaced the handlebars on my FX3, so I have a factory set of handlebars with bar ends here in the whole kit that I could use for demonstration purposes. So I thought I'd throw together a video for the viewer and anyone else out there that might be trying to figure out how to do this. So these are the Trek stock factory bars that came on mine. The new ones are very similar as well. They're all using the Bontrager ISO zone style grips. What's interesting about these is, is to put bar ends on these, you really need to have a couple of things. One of them is, is you're gonna have to have some tools, obviously some Allen wrenches to be able to pull this off. But also, you need to buy a kit from Bontrager, which I'll link in the description below. What it is is basically comes with a spacer and the, the pieces to go on the end to be able to pull this off. Otherwise, your bar ends will not fit on there correctly and you'll have difficulty getting this pulled off. So that's one of the keys. So let's start by talking about how you loosen these grips up. So basically, you're gonna have a an Allen screw here at the end of the grip and one up closer on the end of the grip that you're gonna to need to loosen up. And once you have those loosened up, this, this grip will move around and you'll see this ISO zone piece that's inside of here that then you can manipulate. When you get the bar end kit, it's gonna come with a spacer that looks like this. It says ISO zone on it. So I don't know if you can see that. But in essence, I'm using the Profile Design bar ends. I like these, they're affordable, they're available on Amazon, I'll put that in the description as well. But then you can adjust them to whatever angle you want. But let's just show you how this works. So basically, you're gonna have to move your, your grip in to be able to get this spacer in place, like so. So what you do then is you basically put your bar end on there, take the spacer, and place it in the end, just like this. Make sure your, your bar end is loose, of course. Go ahead and kind of get an initial location of where you want the bar end, and then just tighten it up in place, and that spacer is gonna hold it and give you that round design you need. Once you have that tightened up and placed wherever you want, and obviously we're just messing around, so I don't have this in the right angle, but then you can place your grip in the position that you want and you can tighten it up. There are two different sizes. You're gonna have one here on the end that is a different size than the, than the one that is up here at the front. And basically you just tighten them up and that is it. It's really easy and straightforward, but it's extremely difficult if you don't have a Bontrager bar end kit. You need to get that in order to have that space or to make this work out. At that point, you can adjust this to whatever location you want, whatever angle you want. Everyone has a different opinion about what angle they like for bar ends. Some people like them more straight up. I tended to like them at about a 45 degree angle. That way I could kind of lean forward a little bit on the bars and use them. There are times that I miss the bar ends. I think they're really handy um, and they give you different handhold positions. They're also usually I wrap them with grip tape. You've probably maybe seen a video I did on that. I would I would start down here and wrap these up and all the way around. And uh, that gives them a little bit of cushion as well. So obviously you can adjust these then to whatever angle you want. Once you have your grip in place, it's just a matter of loosening this outside component. And then you can really just adjust the, the position anywhere you want. Same for the grip angle. So if some people like the grip angle with this, uh, with this palm rest to be down a little bit more, kind of like where your palm rests like this. Some people like it up a little bit more. Like I said, I always had mine kind of at a, at a 45 degree angle and I had this hanging on the wall so I didn't really have it set up in the exact angle, but that would kind of be something I would do usually for angle. But once you have these loosened up, you can kind of set them up however you want, at the angle you want. You can adjust your grips to the angles you want and so forth. This one's obviously off, but this is what the stock 
FX3 handlebar kind of looks like, the grips it has, and loosening these as well as getting that adapter kit is necessary to put on a set of bar ends like these profile design bar ends. I hope that's helpful for uh, the person who was asking about how to put those on. It is really pretty straightforward once you have the kit. Maybe the kit was the thing you were missing. I know that most people aren't aware that you have to have that and can't kind of figure out how that works. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Enjoy that FX3. It's been a great bike. I've had mine since 2017 and love it. It's quick, light, fast, fantastic bike. I think uh, the FX3, bang for the buck, such a great bicycle. So hope you like that. Hope that's helpful. Good luck with your bar ends. If you have questions, leave them in the comment. Happy to answer anything you have. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.